<clears throat> okay, testing, testing, one, two, three. Testing. One, two, three. I think we are ready to come back online, I think. Yo, what's up? Welcome back to Venkabot Neo Action. My name is David. You guys know what's up. It's Neo, my all-time favorite game. Not. I, uh... I hate this game, man. I hate this game. I hate it right down to its core. Let's see. We haven't played since the second. That's not so long ago. Testing, testing. One, two, three. Exactly. Deuce shot. Testing. One, two, three. What's good? It's Venkabot. You guys know what's up. Yeah, I hate this game. I hate this game. But you know what? This, this level's kind of cool. I'm enjoying this level. Let's actually focus on the positive. I'm looking forward to having some nice conversations. Playing a cool stage. Kind of being real chill. It's going to be kind of a chill evening, I think. Let's do it up. Okay, so where are we? What are we doing exactly? Oh, yeah, I know. We're in front of these stairs. Triangle button's the only button we need. Triangle and R1. Uh, how do you block L1? Okay. We're in there. Some winners back there. I don't care anymore. I'm like, uh... Phil Collins, man. I don't care anymore. Square is a good button as well. I have full Amrita really gauge. That's... Uh, what button's Amrita gauge? O and, o and triangle. O and triangle together is Amrita gauge. Anything cool up here? Nope. Let's revive this guy and get some practice fighting. Who are you? Got some perp? Got a little bit of perp. How to play this game? I want to break his guard. I should have knocked him down before I did that. Give him stamina back. We have the life lead. Ten out of ten game. Yeah, the whole game is all about spacing and hitting triangle button. That's how you play this game. That's how I play this game. Dick Zucker told me that you can break it just as easily, if not even more so. <clears throat> By playing in low stance and dodging a lot, the game becomes pretty broken. But for me, I like to just kind of space things out and just hit triangle with the high stance. That's true for every weapon in the game, <clears throat> with only like one or two exceptions, maybe. One more, guys. <coughs> Sorry, I forgot how to eat food. You should stick to the stairs unless you find anything interesting along the way. Okay. So I'm probably going to do what I usually do, just kind of wander around. Oh, hi there, bud. Fuck with this guy. Okay. Ten out of ten. Ten out of ten. Steezus, did you see the 13 second teaser from Soft Release? No! So is Decoy not lying? Decoy Mantis told me that, uh, that there was a um, trailer for uh, Bloodborne 2, a teaser. I told him he was full of shit. Maybe I was wrong. One, one Punch Man is broken as fuck. Yeah, but your One Punch Man is a fucking cheater, though. I just mean, mechanically, you can break this game pretty easy. No one knows what it's for yet. There's some rather vague trailer for something, but no idea what it is. Okay, so it sounds like Decoy Mantis thinks it's for Bloodborne 2. It's called Shadows Die Twice, but I hope it's Bloodborne 2. So that's like a code name, sounds like the deco uh, Deuce Draw is familiar with. The trailer is called Shadows Die Twice. I gotcha, I gotcha. Oh no, please don't be a boss. I'm having too much fun. No, I was having a nice, chill, relaxed time. Killing easy enemies. I was hoping I wouldn't be a boss fight. I always get salty in the boss fights. <laughs> I see, I see. I don't care. That's like the first time I've even seen this guy. I've never seen that guy before in my entire life. He has a little spiel how the game works, right? He's a guy you never met before. Now he talks for a second, then he gets killed. 
resurrect the most brutal overlord of the middle. Youngest cat? Literally backstabbed. There's nothing to understand, the story is just trash. What? They all whiffed. Oh, he's hitting things above me. Okay. One, two, three, okay. Two, three. A little punish there. One, two, three again. Another sword is different. Oh yeah, I can't still knock the bosses right. So yeah. Let's get the rant started early tonight, guys. Here's the thing about Neo and Bloodborne as well. Uh-oh. Oh, they're bringing Bloodborne into this. The regular enemies are fucking scrubs. They're extremely easy to deal with. You don't have to learn the game at all. Especially in this game. Bloodborne, not as much, right? But in Neo, the enemies are so fucking easy, you don't gotta be able to play the game and beat them. Just gotta mash buttons. Then you fight a boss once every hour and a half or so, and they are fucking brutal. That's cool. That's cool. They're hard. They're usually somewhat well-designed. But the regular gameplay does not prepare you for them at all. So it's like you go from being bored to death for, you know, two hours at a time to then dying over and over and over again to these stupid bosses. And if the enemies were more interesting and they taught me how to play the game better, maybe I'd have less trouble with the bosses, right? If I was used to, like, dodge rolling and stuff, maybe I could beat these guys a little bit easier. The Buddy Crow isn't a boss. Yeah, that too. So can I skip this? Yes, yes, yes. I don't want to watch that again. So he's going to chop all this shit down now. Okay, can I just run up on you and, like, punish you for that? Kind of. Sure, I can. So I can block that, much by surprise. Isn't, I mean, I take a little bit of damage. I mean, that's kind of clutch, though. That damage is going to hurt you in the long run. So you got to watch the guy's patterns, you know, Dark Souls stuff. See, so yeah, I have to dodge roll through those because... All right. So that can be, I think he has like three hit combos that are the longest they go, right? He's on the ground. Give him some space. I can actually punish him for that. I can block his normal attacks though. Only his fireballs I can't block. Two, three. Oh, he can do four hit combos. Oh, oh, I see. He stabbed twice. Gotcha. So it's like a three hit combo, but you can like, you can choose. There's a the three hitter. I can block it and punish. Oh, no, I can't really. Not with triangle. Maybe with square. Okay, so he's got a little Pokemons. Gotcha. I can do that too, by the way. Not that special, bruh. Or does it always three hits? Two. Three. Okay. And I kind of want to punish with... What if we just punish with square and just make the fight longer? I can get a down hit there, okay. Oh, I thought he was gonna... I was sure that he was going to make that little cloud. Okay, so I was kind of wrong. I had a theory that he would always... make a cloud. If he had zero stamina. But well, that theory has been proved false. I want to punch a triangle if I can, but I can't always. Okay, he's now going to super mode. So he has like fireballs now? Is that the only difference? Oh, he has command grabs as well. I have no more, uh. That's this. That's fine. So it's very trial and error. You gotta see the moves first so you know how to avoid them next time. Oh, so I think a big part of the fight's gonna be doing that, right? Hitting him when he's. Now he's gonna do the thing. No, he's in command. Right. GG, you can do half my health in one move. Use living weapon? No. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you want to save that until you know what you're doing. Uh, nor is the fucking rifle spear, dude. Yeah, that guy's so fucking cheap, man. Unlimited ammo with a rifle spear? Fuck you, rifle spear guy, alright? That's not how the game works. You can't just do that. The Rifle Spear is balanced around having ammo. If you have infinite ammo, it's totally busted. Yeah, I understand you, Straw. I'm totally prepared. I'm, I'm resigned to my fate. 
you fight these guys, they do ha more than half your health per hit. They get some, you know, they take a hit on you. You die, you die, you die, you die, you die. Eventually you get it. Good job, game designers. Good job. Very impressive. Okay. Oh, so I did get hit by that. It's fine. So you can't really block those. Oh, I have to get my stupid thing back, right? He doesn't always do it three times. Oh, okay, he's got different combos. Oh, I get a punish there. I think a big part of this fight is going to be watching the stamina bar and getting punishes when he's out of stamina. So what consumes it, do you think? The fireball? I guess, right? The stamina bar, it's kind of hard to tell what's consuming it. That's not consuming it. Can I always punish the spinning attack? Or is it some reedication? No. Maybe, maybe it is. Maybe it's going down like mine goes down. I think it is. I think his goes down like mine goes down. Where now that he's in this mode, he's, he's like consuming it. Yeah, 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 you're amazing. So they made a different game entirely, Destraw? Yeah. No, this game sucks all the way to its core. It has a couple good ideas, but only a couple. This game, everything about it that isn't just Dark Souls is trash. If they made a sequel, I, I would definitely not buy it. They could not sell me a sequel to this game. They have definitely not earned that kind of consumer goodwill from your boy Venkabot. If you want me to buy your sequel, you have to, you know, make a good game first. Then I'll buy your sequel. But really, I'm being salty. It's not that bad. This, this boss, boss fights are kind of cool in this game. The boss fights actually require some strategy and stuff. Don't get me wrong. Nothing wrong with this, game design-wise, I don't think. I mean, sure, it's kind of cheap because he you know, kills you in a couple hits. That's kind of annoying because it makes it harder to, you know, understand the fight and... You know, it's very few mistakes are allowed. You only make, like, two mistakes in the fight and you're pretty much, you're pretty much it. That's kind of a drag. But aside from that, it's a pretty cool fight. So he's in Amrita mode, he's like consuming his stamina. I have to block more, don't dodge roll as much. You gotta be careful about the spacing I, I, uh... So I have to dodge roll through those. So now he's very low on stamina. I have to hit this and then punish it like this. No? Oh, what? How come he didn't get knocked down? He had zero stamina. Okay, I guess I misunderstand. Oh, he can combo after that. That's fucking bullshit. When am I supposed to know... How do I punish him if he can just string the other moves together at random? How do I know when his combo is over? Think, do you have a talisman? I have uh, quite a few talismans, I think. Of all kinds of different shapes and sizes. I thought that spinning attack was a combo ender. We need to find out which move, which of the moves are combo enders, so we know when it's our turn to attack. You should use them. What kind of talismans? I think he's weak to fire attacks. Oh, okay. Ah, I'm not going to worry about that. Again, if you can beat him, you have to be... To see, if I waste my talismans, then I die, I'm fucked. So if you can't... He's, he's a conundrum. Well, I can't pause this game now. Here's the Dark Souls conundrum. Right? How do you use consumable items to get you a win? When if you die, you lose them permanently. So you have to know you're going to win that time. But if you know you're going to win that time, then you might as well don't, you don't even need the item then. That's a, definitely a, a combo ender. That one is. 
Okay, so if he does a spin attack, just keep blocking. That attack. It's not really a combo ender. I thought it was, but it's not. It's even right there. It's not. Even if he does it wrong. That one is. Okay. Okay, some stamina back. Make some space, make some space. Okay, now he's getting his thing back. That's good for me. Be careful when you dodge roll. That's a combo ender. I could actually punish that. But I'm kind of... I have to make sure I have enough uh, stamina to punish it. Maybe it's not even worth it. Maybe it's better to just wait till he's... Um... Okay, I have to watch those. Out of stamina. And then get the punish. And then get the, you know, the ground hit. So now I, to, now I can punish. Right now. Okay, let me do this. Okay, I can just do that for the whole fight. Well, no, but he's gonna have a, f a phase two, of course, yeah. Alright, guys, I'm sorry I can't read the chat. I think it makes more sense to block that in this stance. I could go into low stance, because I'm not I don't intend to hit him. Okay, so now he's in this form. I could have hit him right there, I had plenty of stamina. I have to, as long as I circle him, I can avoid the command grab. I have to watch for the jump. Okay. What the fuck was that? I got some kind of status change on me now? I can punish him pretty soon here. Right about now. Okay. Just making up moves as he goes along, dude. Missed my chance to get the punish, I think. Yeah, he has to be in the form to get punished, I guess. That's a combo ender, I think. The stab. No. Well, that's a combo ender, okay. Maybe if he spins and stabs, he can't combo. Okay. Is that what he just did before? How come it was so much slower that time? No, there's a fast one. Only in this form can he do that. Only when he's powered up. Yeah, I can't punish that. Yeah. Okay, I have to punish him pretty soon here. I could punch him right there, in fact. Right there, okay. So when he's low on stamina, you have to go for the hit. So yeah, I can't punish him otherwise. You can also buy him. Yeah, you can't buy stuff while you're in the stage, though. You have to buy it before you come into the stage. So I made a rum merengue in my baking practical. Nice. A rum merengue. Was that like a pie? Yeah, you can't buy stuff in the stage, so if I used up my fire talismans, then I'd be fucked. I think I need to be... Let's say I'm going to stick with my strategy, right? Of only attacking him when I get that free hit. That means I should stay in low stance. That way if I'm blocking attacks and dodging, I don't use up as much stamina. Maybe I could even attack them, get them little tiny baby punishes here and there. With square button or something. I'll try magic in this game for health regeneration, that'd be cool. So it starts off in, with this um, form, okay? Maybe I could punish him right there. There's my souls on the ground. Do I take up? Do I use more stamina when I block in this form? That's a combo ender. So I have to go into high stance now. Oh, it wore off. Now I can knock him down anymore. So I have to go fast. 
I don't know if I want to go into a low stance. Let me try and block some attacks. I think, I don't know. I feel like I was actually losing more stamina blocking in low stance. No, it's just when he's in that form, you lose a lot of stamina when you block. I don't know. I think I'm just gonna stay in high stance and just do what I was doing before. I got more damage that way. Being a little stance is just weird. Hey, don't dodge roll. Just never dodge roll. We're playing Dark Souls 1, man. Same reason I didn't dodge roll in Dark Souls 1. It was too tight of timing. It wasn't worth the risk. I think I was doing fine before. Okay, so I can barely even break my stamina with one combo. Amazing! Uh, meringue is meringue. Stupid French language. The most popular pie with it is a lemon meringue. If you have any Amyo skill points, then check out that skill tree and scroll down to find a skill like Sulfur Regeneration or something like that. I don't know if I do. Learn skills, own Mio magic. Uh, blah, blah, Talisman fire, fire shot, blah, blah, weird water stop, water. Wind stop, lightning, earth, lightning, earth stop, shadow round, nope, pure mind. Gradually cover health, let's prepare two oasis talismans. Oasis talismans. Uh, resistances. Carnage Talismans. They reduce your defense and raise your attack. Man. Divination. Luckbringers. Gradually saps your health, okay. Mind control. Flying swords, key bursts. Onmyo. Okay, so we want the Oasis ones. What about Rejuvenation? Okay, so I have to raise this first and then get Rejuvenation. Gotcha. Or get the Sloth skill. It's broken as fuck. So I unlocked this. Oh, it only heals my allies. Maybe even me as well, but this is what I want. You can tell again from looks by 10%. It's passive, huh? Works for me. I have to get the wave only a veteran? God damn it. Alright. So I have to like go here and like allocate them somehow, right? Uh, call back, level up, make offering, ready jutsu. Is that what I need to do? Yes. Okay, so I want rejuvenation four. I'm not sure what this means. It's readied. They're both readied. Whatever that means.
I have a buddy who needs to know. He loves slots. The dude who loves slots. Thank you, Steve. I'll check that out when the stream ends. All right. Well, I read you up some magic, whatever the hell that means. What? How? I think they're items. Uh, here they are. Rejuvenation stuff. I have four of them. So I need to... Instead of the shortcut. To the right. Okay, so it's kind of like extra elixirs. That's kind of nice. Thank you, Deuce Drop. Alright. I think I'm going to stay in high stance and just, uh, just try and, you know, feel it out. Be very patient, only attack him when he's about to lose his stamina. Yes, 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 yes. So where's my stuff? Okay. I have to watch him when he gets low on stamina, I have to go in for the kill. Jesus, nice camera. That Bloodborne camera real quick. wonder how much he, I can... I wonder how much uh, stamina he needs to have. Now's my chance. Okay. Some stamina back. Don't attack him there. I need to get my stamina back after that. What are you doing, bro? Just trying to freak the camera out? Oh, so that's not always a combo finisher. Okay. It is when it is, though. I know when it is. I was still recovering from the roll, I guess. So you have to roll sometimes so you don't get uh, your stamina knocked out of you. Okay, so now we can punish him. That was a little bit sloppy. Okay, get some health back. Okay, I'm getting my health back. That kind of lasts a long time, too. Yeah, don't attack him when your stamina is low. It's not worth it. That's not the end of the combo. Is that one, I guess the, the big stab is always the end of that combo. Okay. Now we dance all day. Wow, if you're not blocking that, that's tough. Okay, it sounds like a command grab. That's an Easter egg. That's the high boosted drop from Ninja Gaiden. Punish that. I'm quick enough. Okay. Dark Side Three's coming out in uh, 2018. Noise. Yeah, has a do try using the slash me command just to make himself feel special. Do try, you're already special, bro. I've got to use slash me to be special. You're already special, Deuce Draw. 
Basically, the four horsemen trying to deal with the bullshit incited by war between heaven and hell. Heaven or hell, let's rock. I gotta go to my souls. I think I have to time my dodge roll to get my stamina back there. That's probably what I need to do, not pulse. Oh, what the fuck? How many knocked out, getting it knocked over? Maybe it wore off at the last minute. I think I have to hit him before it wears off. Oh, that's not the end. Okay, that was a feint. That's the end. I missed my timing on the dodge roll. Okay, so now he's in his form. That's what I want. Missed my chance to punish that. Maybe I should have punished with square square instead of triangle? I don't know. I think this triangle actually does more stamina damage. Maybe it doesn't always fall. Maybe I could parry that attack and then get like some damage there or something. I think if I hold I think if I hit triangle while blocking, I get like an attack. Okay, get some stamina back. Fuck. Punish him for that. So you can only shoot out that projectile when he's in his form, I think. He doesn't have free Hadokens. Yeah, I can hit him right there, for sure. It's got plenty of time to get. That was the slow one, though. What? How did that work? Do I misunderstand what's going on there? How? I thought he had plenty of stamina left. How did I knock him down? I thought if I hit him when he had no stamina, that's when he got knocked over. I deserve that. Give me plenty of warning. So that's a new thing you can do. That's Diazuna drop. What, just hit him, just hit him a triangle any time, or what? Or do I do more than half of his stamina with that? Maybe I'm overthinking this. So I can get I can get away from that, kind of, not really. I have to be in low stance. I don't know.
It's like if I just hit him when he's in that stance, when he's in that form, he just fucking drops. Are you fucking serious? Oh, you can do that without being in his form? I didn't know that. Or is he still in? Oh, he's still in his form. What? I don't understand. I have to scroll up now, because Deuce Draw is spamming the chat. Okay. Alright. I have no clue how I'm knocking him down. Uh, I think I have to hit him with triangle when he's recovering from a move. I thought I had to hit him when he was low on stamina. That's, that's not the case. No, I hit him. It doesn't also it doesn't also neutralize him every time either. Use your talisman during the fight. I like the way you think, Dustra. So now he's in his form. So I can just do this. Bomb. Sure I can. He's still in his form, too. Bom oh, how the hell did I get that button? I hit triangle. By the way, if you st I'll stop you mid-combat, and you won't be able to move in, like, a few seconds. By the way, it'll stop you mid-combat, and you you'll won't be able to move in, like, a few seconds. Okay. Sounds like uh, second form or something that I'm going to get to eventually. Like a cinematic happens or something. Whew. It seems like if I hit him with triangle, any time he's not in the startup of an attack, he gets knocked over. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, Dooster, I've used it many times. I've used it many times already. In combat. During the fight, if you will. You just haven't noticed. Oh, I have to hit this, I have to hit this one. Yeah, he's already in his form. Bonk, recovery, okay. Get a free hit. Some stamina back. No, oh, I thought that was his transformation. There's the transformation. Now he's back to this form. Get some stamina back. That's the end of that combo. It's the start of that combo. I'm gonna always be within range to punch him when he transforms. There it is. Fuck.
I had no stamina to punish him there. I think if you hit him during his recovery, or when he's not attacking, he gets knocked over in that form. So to make sure you have stamina and you have time. Start of the round, hold X, so you can just go and find your stuff. Oh, he's still in his form. He was in recovery, so that's why that didn't work. Oh, I thought he just fell over. He lost his form and didn't fall over, huh? You know, that's the thing that could happen. Long combos. Oh, that's, yeah, that's the one where it's the middle one is not. That's not the end of this combo if he slashes down the middle one. No, see, I, if I time it, I think I have to. What if I were just to let this him kill me? What if I just waited until he was in the recovery frames of that and then hit him? Would that knock him down? Or do I have to hit him twice? Yeah, you spend the whole game just like literally hours and hours and hours one-shotting every foe in the game. And then they brick wall you with a boss that's like fucking impossible. That's this game's MO. It's like, you're so bored when you're just killing everything in one hit, then you're bored because you're just dying over and over again. You just can't get away from it with this game. Alright, alright, alright. So he's in his form. I could have actually knocked him down right there. Knock him down right now. Why? Why did that come out as like a dashing triangle button? Too too late, I think. How come that one didn't work? That time he didn't get knocked over. I don't fucking get it. I don't understand why I can knocked over sometimes. That's like a dashing triangle button. I don't even know why I have that. Can I turn that off? This must be a skill of mine. Game sucks. Alright. What do we got here? Um skill customization. Uh Odachi. From behind, end of combo, twin moons, while guarding. 
What is Moonlit Snow? Uh, no. If it doesn't block attacks, I don't want it. I only want counters. The only skill I want are counters. Nope, don't want that. Nope. Snow, uh, grapple is fine, yeah. At the end of an attack, don't care. Some pretty, pretty great lore. Oh man, I'm hyped, Dick Sucker. I'm hyped. Let's go. How you doing, Dicks? Don't care. Don't care. Parry's in mid stance. I'm not gonna go to mid stance. I don't care. And you can find two good skills. What good skills, Deucer? What good skills? Don't care. Drawing the sword, can only be sheathed, don't care. Moonlit snow, don't care. Okay, so hopefully now I don't get like some kind of weird dash attack. Wait, I, I do have a dash attack? Is this. How did I just do that? That's not my usual role. Is that my usual role? How did I just do? I just had a weird fucking horizontal slash. I swear I just hit X and then I hit X and hit triangle. And now it's not doing it anymore. It says I'm fine. Let's finish up some notes. Oh, do, uh, Dick Zucker, you're so fucking studious. So I seem to have like a. A dashing triangle attack anyway. Yes. I can't turn it off. So our attacks have... I guess every weapon must have dash attacks in this game. So apparently I glitched out. I was in I was in mid stance for a second. So I just came back to my menu or something. So if I roll and then try and slash immediately, I'm not going to get the move I want. I can't buffer in a slash. Studious my ass. I have no idea what's going on. Oh my god. Yeah, right. Dick Sucker, you're such a fucking nerd. You're probably ace in all your classes. You nerd. If I hit my triangle button while I'm recovering, I get nothing. Yeah, so I can't really roll and then slash. It's not something, something you do in this game. So I have to... I have to be patient. I have to, I can't punish him after a roll, only a block. Let's put it that way. Let's put it that way. I can't roll and then hit him. I have to block and then hit him. Ugh. So, let me rant here for a second so I can avoid this boss for a minute. Um, the skill trees. Let's go to um, skill. So, Dustra says, hey, Venka, go check your uh, ninjutsu skill tree. It was a cool skill. Okay, I'm gonna go do that. Watch. Where is it? Oh, here it is. Uh, learn skills. Okay. Ninjutsu. Look at this fucking UI. Look at this fucking UI. This means nothing to me. It's so hard to navigate because every icon looks exactly the fucking same. You have to actually hover over them to see what they are. You can't get like a little icon. You can't get the skill name overlaid on the tile. Nothing. So I hate checking my skills because it's like, you don't know how far you're scrolled down. Like you can see the little scroll bar on the left, right? But it doesn't help you, you know, understand where the skills are that you want. They're organized horizontally and vertically. And you'd think, oh, well, they're going horizontally, right? So that means they're all the same skill, but getting stronger. Not always. Not always indeed. Sometimes it's, you know, this one is, uh, you know, uh, Kayaku Dama, okay. Horoku Dama is the same thing, but stronger. Gotcha. Oh, Mega Horoku, same thing, but stronger. Gotcha. And then you have Saboteur. Okay, it's not even, it's barely related. This one, increased the, you know, this one actually is related, but it's not always related. It's not always related. So it's like, you don't, it's so hard to, to navigate this menu. I wish they would put their names on them, or a little icon to give me a hint of what they are, or something. I hate checking my skill list. 
And it doesn't even scroll smoothly, so if I hit like up and down like real fast, I can like totally lose my place. Fuck! Fuck! I'm sorry. So Dick's crams can perform sexual favors, keeping those high scores. Hey, you gotta do what you gotta do, man. A girl's gotta do what a girl's gotta do. Okay, okay, okay. I wanna punish him. Four hits. Get punished? Oh, he's still standing for some reason. I'm not sure why he got knocked on right there. He still got all the stamina this time. That's not the end of that one, right? Made a mistake, lost half my health. It's so whatever. He's still standing, why? Aha! What determines whether he gets knocked down or not? I'm taking these big risks for that big reward, the knockdown. But if it doesn't work totally at random, how am I going to take that risk? Oh, dick sucker. I always know just what to say to lift my spirits during a frustrating boss fight. If I used a button other than triangle, would he get knocked down? I have no clue. I don't even know what's causing him to get knocked down in the first place. Are you still standing now? I kind of want to block that so I can get a punish. It's worth it, I guess, to sacrifice like a little bit of health. That's got the combo ender, I think. Is that always the end of a combo? Like, if he's running into the ring slash, I think it's only a one-hitter. Recovering? No. When you get the knockdown, it feels like it makes sense. You're like, okay, I got it. I understand now. I hit it that time and get a knockdown. But it makes no sense. Does he have like a horn I have to hit or something? How come it only happens? So maybe when he's in that other, when he powers up, he gets like a horn. I have to actually make it connect. Did I have to hit his tail, maybe? He has like a tail. Oh no, now he still has a tail. He's glitched it out. Hit him in his tail and he had like a weak spot. When you kill this boss, give him a huge titty twister. Such a gay thing to do. And that's coming from me. So we can run away like a bitch from Venka. <laughs> oh my god. I don't know. Maybe I have to hit his tail to get the knockdown. And maybe when I do my triangle slash, it goes through his body and hits his tail. Was well, this boss homophobic then? I guess I missed that piece of lore. Takes like a reference to your fucking art book, man. How could you miss some lore? You're the lore master. I 
I don't know, bro. You don't want to do that in this form. There's no chance he's going to get knocked down. So why take the risk? So I can interrupt him and get it too. I don't understand. Is it fucking random? Is it low random? It seems like it might be low random. That's when you go all the way random. I can only get it for sure when he's in this stance though. When he's all powered up like that. <laughs> yes, the boss is homophobic. Adventures of Cookies and Cream, man. The single best FromSoft title. They're finally making a sequel. I don't get it, man. I have to... I can't rely on the knockdowns. I can't not rely on the knockdowns. They're totally inconsistent. It's totally random. I have to accept that. I can't perceive any pattern to it whatsoever. So I have to watch my stamina and get more tiny punishes here and there. When I can actually do that. I got his tail for sure that time and nothing happened. So it's not the tail. I have to watch my stamina and get a punish every time I have stamina when he's done. That's a combo ender. That's not. Oh, the running slash chem combo. I didn't know that. If it goes past you, it's safe. He, has to, he can't turn around very quickly. Okay, back up. Get some stamina. He lost his mode somehow. Okay. How do I avoid that? I can't die. I guess I have to be in low stance to dodge that. That footsies. What's up, Mexi? Yeah, I am uh, stuck on this boss. I don't know if I'm gonna beat him tonight, to be honest. I'm just mashing buttons at this point. I am so over this game. And yet I'm not. I want to beat it. I think I have to be in low stance and mash X. Like, I don't know. Can I do this or something? He has a move that's unblockable. That just comes at you. Uh, maybe I'm supposed to hold the X button and run from it. If I see him charging it up. How's the tree looking, Mexi? This 
block it and hit him. Get a free hit. It's worth it. It's a worthwhile trade. Through behind him, go for the hit. That's a free hit every time. You want to go for that for sure. Anytime you're behind him, get a hit. That's fine. There's that move. I don't know how to avoid it. I feel like I deserve a knockdown there. That's literally unblockable. I'm gonna punish him there. I'm gonna actually use this instead. That's death. Yippee skippy. It's a sequel to something. That rules out Dark Souls. Maybe Demon Souls? Shadow Tower has a sequel, so that's out. Maybe Bloodborne? Hope it's the Bloodborne sequel. There's that old horror game they made too. Pretty sure that didn't have a sequel. The power of one punch. No, I think I'm just need to. Get, I think I need to get behind him and attack him more often. I need to dodge roll to his back, and then get a hit. That seems to be getting me, getting me the most damage. Don't worry about getting the knockdown. It seems totally random. Just worry about trying to stay behind him. Neo sequel confirmed by FromSoft. You have to use Ultra Instinct. Let's fucking go. Ultra! Okay. Run over here. Grab this. I want to block that and get a punish. Okay, so get some stamina back. I can't do jack shit without stamina. I could have punished him right there. Alright, knock him down here. Alright, now we want to get behind him. Hit him now. Pulse that. See the thing about being behind him is he can't he can't turn around and hit you very fast. So if you misspace it, that's a, an issue. It's a definite issue. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm starting to fall asleep, literally. I gotta punish that, I have plenty of stamina. I don't know, but it's, you're in front of him, it's kinda tough. Hit him now. Pulse his thing. Get some stamina back, that's really more important. Okay, I guess I got a knockdown there for some reason. I need stamina. Nope, no stamina. Just forget about it. I want him to run at me so he does that thing where I can get behind him. Behind him is good. He has to kind of turn around, which takes a minute. He gives me time to get my stamina back sometimes, too. Could have punished that. I had plenty of stamina. Although, I don't have enough time. He recovers pretty fast. There's my chance. Hit him here once. Okay. I didn't deserve that. Not sure what causes the knockdown, but I'll take it. Get behind him, gonna attack. Okay, nice reach. I can punish the downward swing. Oh, okay. I have no stamina whatsoever. 
Still no stamina. I think I don't. I can't be far from him. Some stamina back. That's fine. Let him do that. If he does a little hop, is that my cue to change stances? That's kind of what I'm thinking. No knockdown. Got a knockdown. Not sure exactly why. So now he's got unblockable for days. Low stance. Some stamina back. Some stamina. I can kind of get out of it if I'm in that stance. I'm sorry, hang on, I gotta rub my eyes. I'm literally starting to get sleepy in my eyes. Alright. Think about it. Okay, we're in there. Do you aim for the chest and belly do more damage? Hey there, bud. Uh okay. I'm a failure. Should, yeah, you're right, Deustra, you're right. Don't look at me right now. I wasn't even thinking about that. You warned me. That was the time to do it. It's okay. I can also use that. Well, no, I don't want to use it up. If I use it up before the end of the fight, I have to get it all the way back again, which sucks. I have to go kill some guys to recharge it. I don't want to grind. I wish you can get it from just fighting them. You have to actually kill guys to level it up, I think. I don't think landing hits does it. Okay, okay, okay. I don't know what caused him to get knocked down, bro. I want that knockdown so bad. I think you have to hit him while he's totally neutral, maybe. So you have to line up your attack. Yeah, I think you have to hit him while he's neutral. So not during his recovery, it's when he's not attacking. I think there's a timing where I can actually just walk past him. I think there are times where I can actually let go of my block button and just walk past him. I have to recognize the combos, though. Whenever he charges, whenever he does that big down slash at the end, I don't have to block it or dodge it. I can actually walk underneath, save myself some stamina. Hmm. 
Okay. Anytime he's gonna do that big, that big downward slash, I can just walk right under it. Sometimes he does that stab as well. Hang on, guys. I'm sorry. Oof. All right. Yeah, 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 yeah. How did I get fucking hit, man? That's too soon. Now. He has to be totally neutral to get the knockdown. I wonder if that's true in this form, too. Probably not. I gotta block that last one. There we go. Now. We're gotten better at getting the knockdown we want there. I can actually just walk through that. Here we go. Okay, one, two, three on that one. Got the knockdown, too late to get punished. Some stamina back. Okay, I don't understand. I don't understand. I want to be near him and not let him do that unblockable shit. And if he's near you, he won't do it. Okay. Okay, yeah, I think you have to stay near him. Stay on top of him so we can't do the unblockable stuff because it's all ranged. I got bad luck right there. I got some kind of weird little nook on the stage where I couldn't get past him. But that's pretty low chances of that happening, seems like. So we got better at knocking him down. I hit him while he's neutral. We've gotten better at staying behind him, getting our hits in. We're getting there. We're getting there. We're gonna beat this guy before the night's over.
and where my souls are at. I should go get those. Oh, I did a lot, a lot of stamina damage. I think I want to rotate the other way around. I want to go this way. Okay, yeah, you gotta be careful about that, because he can just kill you at will. If you have a few errant frames there on your punish. Yeah, so... Yeah, you have to make sure you line up your attack with his neutral frames. If you hit the tail... Yeah, if you hit the tail of his recovery, then you're gonna have to recover, which is shitty. You don't want that. You have a very small window sometimes to get that knockdown. Close in on him. The punish right now. Too soon. Okay, so yeah, he kind of lollygagged there. He got up real quick though for some reason. He's still in the form. Got him. No? Get some stamina back. Okay, that one's not the same as the other one. There you go. Okay, you can get under there. Get stamina now, though. I'm knocked down. It's a cute Easter egg. Okay. Need some stamina here. I don't want to dodge roll if I can help it. I used it, I wasted it. I was trying to be so careful. I thought he had way less health. Now we gotta go... Wait. Oh yeah, I have to call my souls back and then grind. Summon... no. Call back. Here it is. Okay, so now I got my guy back. We can go kill some winners. Get our emery to gauge filled up. Try again. 
I swear, as soon as I hit the fucking Amrita Gauge, he got a bunch of health back or something. That's what it felt like. I, clearly, I just wasn't paying attention. He's still alive, man? This is gonna give me a lot of stealth, a lot of uh, Amrita. dead. I don't even know I'm already dead. Lord. Call him back. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we can kill that ninja without alerting anybody. That's cool. I tried running up the stairs. I tried alerting them all and then running up the stairs to try and escape. Well, that's pretty neat. There's like a winner down there. He's just patrolling. So I can like run away up here now. Maybe I can flee them far enough that they're gonna forget about me, huh? Oh my lord. So those guys don't give me a lot of Amrita. They have less health. Hopefully the stairs are around here somewhere. No? Okay. Come up here, come up here, come up here. Lock onto the guy closest to me, how about that? I know it's a radical notion. I didn't die there. Oh my god, bro. Okay. I'm sorry, guys. This game sucks. Oh no. Where am I now? So, my emergency gauge almost filled up. We're back in business. I kill a few more guys. We'll kill this boss. I'm gonna go on a very short break, come back, be totally rejuvenated. The stream's gonna be amazing. Amazing. I just killed a bunch of them. How many guys are left? Stealth hit. He's already dead.
Isn't there a ninja alive somewhere? There's at least one more ninja. Just don't know where he is. Hence ninja, I guess. All right, here's somebody. Yeah, 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 I got my Emerald Gauge full. You guys mean nothing to me now. I'm going the wrong way, though. There's a ninja after me as well. Sure there is. Okay, so how do I get back out of here? Alright, so yeah, I don't want to fight these guys. Oh, shit. It's okay. I don't care. Where is the uh, place I want to be? Over here. Okay, so I left the guy in the, in the dust. Let's rest here. We have our full Emory to gauge again. Let's not use it until he's really low on health, this boss. I thought he was low enough last time. Wasn't even close. Wasn't even close. Let's, uh, let's just conserve Emrita, blow it when we can beat him, and then uh, take a break, move on, finish this game. Okay, okay. hard to be close to him. Okay, we have to knock down. He's out of stamina. He's oh, that's different. Yeah, I thought it was something else. Okay. Dead, aren't I? You won't be close to him yet. Oh, okay. He's already doing that, apparently. I can see it, Dustra. I can see your text. So where did I go wrong there? I was taking a lot of errant hits. I don't know, man. It's tough. It's just tough. I'm sorry, Dustra. Twitch is weird. This game's all about stamina management. You have to know... You can only... You know, you have to be defensive and offensive on the same bar of stamina. So it's tough to know when it's your turn to attack, because you might try and do some crazy shit to you. And you least expect it. Got the knockdown. I think we want that knockdown, right? That's pretty important. Recovery. There. No, I thought that was good. Nah. Nope, too early. There. Oh, he's still alive? Wait. Cause he, wasn't, he wasn't in the form. Okay. I think most times after two slashes is my turn. To walk. No, it's horizontal after that. Okay. Let him have that. Don't get too far, though. Got another recovery. I couldn't 
dodge roll? I don't have stamina dodge roll, maybe. Maybe I had a status change that was absorbing my stamina or something. I thought I had a little sliver of it, and that was enough to dodge roll. I'm a tank, by the way, guys. My character's a tank build. If I have anything other below half health, that command grab will kill me. Whatever. Ten out of ten. Doesn't really, doesn't really, the ten out of ten battle card doesn't really work for this game because nobody liked this game. Well, some people like it on Reddit, but they're mentally ill. They're mentally incompetent. So I missed my chance to walk through there. I timed that right. So if I'm behind him, I have a better chance of getting the knockdown. Because he has to turn and face me. It's a lot of neutral frames. Okay. Get some stamina back. That's fine. Let him do that. Don't get too far, though. Oh, what? How come that didn't work? He's supposed to get knocked down right there, man. He was quite neutral. Was he neutral there? Yeah, one, two, I have to get, I have to get past quickly. Two, three. Okay. One, two, three, okay. Yeah, usually on the third hit, I can go through. Some stamina back. I want to be offensive now. It's actually... Oh, shit, I didn't have time to use my talisman. I didn't know I was going to do that. I want to go double trigger here for soon. So that's done, yeah. I hit the wrong direction. I wanted to go uh, get my elixir, but I hit left instead of up. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's that good shit. kind of funny i'm thinking to myself like i wish i could talk more trash about this game's like core design right but i i know deep down in my heart if i analyze the game mechanically this wouldn't be this hard right i'm just trying to scrub it out yeah good night deuce straw get a good rest man i'm just trying to scrub it out and i can't be salty that my scrubby tactics aren't getting the job done it's just that i really don't care i don't want to learn the mechanics at this point Again, the, most of the enemies in the game they don't require you to use any kind of tactics only the bosses. So it's like, I just want to scrub it out like the way I scrub both enemies out and just get it over with. I really don't give a shit about learning how to play this game to fight this guy. So it's my own fault for that I'm losing, right? I just really can't be fucked. So I don't want to learn the game just to fight this one guy. This game is complex as hell. Yes, most enemies, like literally, you know, every single non-boss enemy in the game, you can just beat by hitting the triangle button. So I'm not gonna sit here and learn all about all your skills and shit. Just so that I can beat one boss. I'm just gonna keep on trying and trying and trying and trying. Just kill me, bro. I'm too salty. I'm gonna get a fresh start. Can I actually go near the door and die? So I can get my shit. I 
There's probably some obscure combination of skills and spells, counters and stance changes that would make this fight a lot more manageable. But I'm pretty sure if I keep trying it, I'm going to be able to scrub it out at some point. Because really, I don't want to sit here and try and get all this shit in my head about stance changing and using the spells and the skills. I, I played this game already for like 50 fucking hours or probably more. And against every foe in the game, it doesn't matter. None of it matters. It's like the bosses were designed by a whole different team. If every foe in this game behaved like this, I would probably feel more like it was worthwhile to invest the time and the mental bandwidth to keep all that shit in my head, but... This guy is... This whole game, every, every foe but, but this guy is a scrub. So, no, I'm not gonna go do that. I'm just gonna try and see what I can make happen with this. You have to time it so carefully to hit his neutral frames. I could actually walk past him right there if I had been a little bit more alert. Let him do his thing. Stay close. Get him out of the air. We went for his, his little dive. He already lost his form for some reason. I need stamina now. Some stamina back. Got lucky there, got a neutral frame. He's out, he's lost his form. There we go, he's done. What I tell you, scrubbed it out. This took me a million tries. Okay. Oh, guys, I'm sorry. I know the stream is kind of lame. <laughs> that was um, boring for everybody involved. I'm sorry, guys. You know, I'm gonna go on a very short break here. I will see you guys in a few minutes. I'm gonna refill my water and be right back. Want someone in chat to look up the bosses for tactics or not quite to that level of just get it the fuck over with salt? Yeah, I, again, I think... Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah, you could look up, like, what skills to use and stuff like that. The thing is when uh, yeah, it's not that like quite that level. Here and there. Whoa, I, I eventually scrubbed him out, you know, basic go. Dark Souls style. See, I think this game, at its best... Again, I... This game is ass. The enemies in the dungeons are ass. The bosses are kind of cool. That guy was kind of cool. Okay, I'm not trying to get the impression that guy wasn't kind of cool. He was. It's just that the coolness of the game's mechanics only show once every three hours and only for about 20 minutes. So it's like, I don't really feel incentivized to learn the game's deeper mechanics when they're never necessary. And in the regular encounters, they're not rewarded. Hit boss, spam, dodge away, repeat. Yeah, Dick Sucker said that in low stands, that's a really good strategy. So you can break the whole game by playing in low stance by doing that. It's when I fight the bosses, I fight them the same way I fight the regular foes in the game. Which is, I just want to hit triangle, you know, just hit triangle on them, and then um, try and space them out a little bit, and then hit triangle again, space them out a little bit, and do that over and over again, right? That's why I have trouble with the bosses. But I've never failed to beat a boss that way. 
So it's kind of like I'm just gonna kind of wait it out and you know just keep doing it until I figure out you know the the key the key revelation in that fight was that he um. I could just walk under his attacks most of the time, right? Once I learned what his vertical attacks were, I could walk under them, which saved me a lot of stamina. That's what finally won me that fight, was figuring out which were the, which were the verticals and walking under them. But, yeah, so that way I was able to beat it the way I would beat a normal foe. Just walk around, block every now and then, and hit triangle. I, I fully believe I that I will be able to do that until I beat the game. Maybe I'm wrong. The, the, the day may come where I need a better strategy for beating a boss, oh, but okay. that day has not come yet. That'd be very unwise. I beat most bosses in a few minutes. Oh. That was the exception there, where it took me about an hour. High stance worked for a lot of larger bosses as well. Spam dodge away. I feel like for high stance, though, my my dodge uses up too much stamina to do that. I think the reason it works so well in low stance is that I think it has a few more iframes and it costs so little to dodge. In high stance, I can only dodge like four times on a full stamina bar. Anything down here that I missed? Yeah, I know I'm being salty, I know I'm being lame, and but I don't want to take anything away from Team Ninja. The boss fights in this game are, are definitely the highlight. Like a whole lot of stuff that we've missed. The boss fights are definitely a highlight in this game. It it's just that. Because they're so, f so rare, um, it'd be an understatement to say it doesn't save the game, that's for sure. It definitely doesn't save the game. Barely adds anything to the game, to be honest. But, um, I wish, my, my real complaint with the boss encounters is not with the encounters themselves. It's the fact that the regular enemies don't prepare me for the boss encounter. You know, I wish that whatever they're trying to get me to do for the bosses, they would kind of ease me into with the regular foes, right? But because I've beaten every single regular foe in the game by just hitting triangle and, you know, staying a sword's length away from them, when I get to a boss fight, it makes no sense. Everything is totally overwhelming. They kill me in, like, three or four hits. And I feel like, again, I feel like if I had some kind of understanding of the game's skills or stance changing, maybe I could fight the boss the way the developers intended me to fight the boss. But I have no clue how to do any of that, nor do I care. Oh, I didn't! What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's hilarious. Maybe it's a fatty. Lose some weight, lard ass. I think I am a fatty. 